Kelly, thank you. Turning to politics now. Tomorrow is the first day of the Democratic National Convention, where Joe Biden will formally accept the party's nomination for president. But due to the coronavirus, it will all be virtual. Orko Mana joins us live now in the newsroom with a breakdown of what we can expect. Orko. Well, Sasha, the Democratic National Convention was supposed to take place in person in Milwaukee, but everything has shifted online in the wake of COVID-19. Still, the convention is taking place, and a few local leaders will have some time in the spotlight. The convention kicks off tomorrow and will feature four nights of speakers. That includes U.S. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto from Nevada, who will speak on night one, and Nevada State Senator Ivana Cancela. All speakers will appear remotely, and Joe Biden will accept the nomination from his his home state of Delaware. Nevada Democrats are planning a series of online watch parties throughout the week and tell me an upside to a virtual convention is that it's more accessible to everyone. Our goal within the party is to make sure that we have as many Nevada Democrats as possible participating. Um, and also uh, it's important for them to understand what's exactly at stake uh, in this election. A Trump campaign spokesperson tells me, quote, the DNC convention convenes this week. Nevadans will see the far left socialist policies that make Joe Biden and Kamala Harris the most extreme ticket in history. President Trump will continue to put America first. Again, the Democratic National Convention begins tomorrow and continues through August 20th. The Republican National Convention is set to take place next week. Sasha.